Terry Donnelly, MD's Kindle channel. Don't forget, follow along on YouTube. Subscribe, like, and share. Hit the boop alert button so you know what's going on all week long. Follow us on Instagram and please like and follow us on Facebook. You're going to get all sorts of cool content and bonus videos. Cheers, guys. Hi, everybody, and welcome to our virtual happy hour here at MD's Gym Mill channel. It is a beautiful Monday here in South Florida. Hi, Denise. How are you? Hi to our Instagram uh, followers. Thank you very much for joining us, everybody. And what are you drinking today? Now, I'll tell you what. It is crazy. I'm hearing all these stories. Everybody is sick. Oh, my gosh. But it's not COVID. It's just a cold. And if you happen to tune into the uh, live with Kelly Ryan, you saw Kelly. She was beaten down. She was sick all last week. And her doctor said, oh, you're just sick. So it's going around everywhere. Hospitals are getting full. So I have the cure. I have the cure. So stick around. But before we get to that, you guys, let me know what you're drinking, where you're from. I don't know where you are unless you tell me. So throw me a little message over here. Say hi, what you're drinking and where you are from. Okay. Congratulations. You know, I got to go there to the Buffalo Bills again for winning yesterday over the New England Patriots. Go Bills! Go Bills! Patriots. Sorry, fans. And this weekend, we play the Miami Dolphins in Buffalo. So I know we've got a lot of Dolphins fans that watch us. So good luck. May the best team win. You never know what's going to happen. And go Bills this Sunday, 1 o'clock against the Dolphins. But anyways, that's okay. So it is January. And all I can say is I don't want to hear about dry January. First of all, that doesn't help anybody. Maybe you, but in your local watering holes, all of the stores, everything, just maybe cut it down a little bit. Do a lower ABV, maybe have, if you ever watched that one show with Ted Danson, it drives me crazy, I can't remember it, but it was a private eye show, it was so good, it was on HBO, and he'd go to the bar, it was Jonathan Silverman, I believe it was. Yep, that's right, go Bills. So. They'd go to the bar and Ted Danson would say, I'll have a Jack on the Rocks. And Jonathan would say, I'll have a Chardonnay. And Ted's like, thought you don't drink. He's like, it's Chardonnay. It's not drinking. So that's my model for January. But Tito's, you know, our unofficial sponsor of MD's general channel and Martha Stewart have something different in mind. It's not dry January. It's DIY January. I want you to check out this video. It's so cool. So check it out. Hey, I get it. It's dry January, so you're not drinking much. But if you've got Cheetos lying around, don't just stare at it, use it. Say goodbye to musty smells. Add it to your pasta sauce for a little extra kick. And maybe a little bit more. Spice up your Friday night by cutting through dirt and grime. And nothing tenderizes your favorite meat like Cheetos. Messy surfaces are no match for Cheetos. And keep your flowers in bloom with a splash of that vodka you can't drink. Smells like February. <laughs> I certainly can't think of anything else I'd rather be doing with my Cheetos. Oh, f it. Martha needs a drink. <laughs> That's right. Who knew that you could water your plants? You can clean with Tito's. It's an air freshener. It's a deodorizer for your stinky shoes when you get home from work. Ooh. So lots of stuff you can do with Tito's. And, you know, like I said, we've been doing this since 2017 here at MD's Jimmel channel, and one of these days, we're going to get these guys. One of these days, hashtag Tito's. Okay, so we wanted to just bring to your attention that the RTDs are here to stay. 
So last year, not white claw, not neutral, even though the neutral right here that I'm going to show you is absolutely delicious. I'm telling you, this is one that you definitely want to drink. And it's, and you know me, I'm not a seltzer person. That's delicious. But this high noon is really good. Now, this is a vodka soda. And this was the number one grocer in 2022. They took the market by storm. And you can find it in all of the reality shows and all over the beaches. Guys are drinking them. Girls are drinking them. They're good. And they're not. The calories are low. See? Amanda says she loves them. Well, I think you love the neutrals or the vodka sodas. The high noons. I'm not sure. But hi, Amanda Hart. How you doing? Please tell me you're not going for this dry January crap. I don't think you are. But that's okay. So high noon sips, number one, I wanted to let everybody know. And there's something else that Martha Stewart would be so proud of. Yep, you like both of them. Yep, see? That's good. So Martha Stewart would be so proud. You know, stay right here with me, guys. I got to grab something for you. So in the beginning of COVID, I decided to, ugh, I decided to, uh, I started saving my corks from my favorite wine bottles. Okay. So this is what I saved up since the beginning of COVID. I mean, oh my God, some people might think I have a problem, but. I wasn't alone. I had lots of friends with me, you know, my little core little things and Mr. Bear and, you know, all the stuffed animals and stuff. So here's what you can do with those corks. Look at this. A birdhouse. How cute is that? So that's what I'm going to work on for DIY January. How cute is that? And then one of our producers just told me about a cork board. So you take one of can't get my hand in there. You take the cork, you split it, and hot glue it to a big frame, and you got a cork board, a real, like wine cork board. It might even smell good. I don't know. Depends. So there's so many cool things you can do when you're bored, if you took a break from drinking or whatever, which, bleh, but that's okay. That's okay. So, okay. Speaking of <sighs> January, everyone's sick. I talked about it and I have the cure and it's right here. Oh, it is the emergency emergency. I don't, you can't even see it. It's hard to see because of the glare, but this is the emergency orange original packet. Okay. Now I'll tell you a little story. Back in 1991, I worked at a club in Rochester, New York called paradise alley. And it was the coolest place ever. Kudos and shout out to all my Paradise Alley friends and co-workers that are watching. And remember the vitamin C. And it was my very first published drink. And I've got an old picture here. This was actually published in Bartender Magazine in 1991. And what we made it with back then was Stoli Orange, orange juice, and sour mix. So simple. Shake it up throw it in a glass with an orange. And it was so good. A drink, a shot, whatever. And to this day, I still make it. And I've got one cool ass fan, Craig DeWitt. I think he's up in Connecticut or Rhode Island, whatever. He still comes to the bar to this day and says, nobody can make the vitamin C like you. And I'm like, it's three freaking ingredients. It's so simple. So I've come up and I have not tasted this. I've come up with an idea. Okay, and I've told you before, whenever you're making a drink at your house or whatever, who cares about what glass it should be in? It needs to be a glass that makes you happy. And this beautiful glass that was absorbed from the hard rock is my favorite glass. I love it to death. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to mix up this drink. And it's the vitamin C, the new vitamin C. Okay, so... Also going to put, we're going to build this and then we're going to strain it over the ice in our glass. Cool. Applebee's thing, you know. By the way, Applebee's has their Valentine drinks on special for $5. So, okay. We are not using orange vodka this. We're using Tito's because, you know, 
you know the deal. We're going to do about four ounces of Tito's. That's just because it's a big wine glass. I probably can't even fill it all, but we'll find out. Then we got a little sour mix left from the holidays. Like I said, just buy this at the store. Buy the cheap one because you don't need expensive sour. So a little less on the sour on that. And what I've done is I've already mixed some emergency in this glass, dissolved it because I'm not sure how easy it's going to dissolve in the ice. Just a little bit. Why not? And then shake it up. Let's see what happens. I think it's going to be delicious. Ah, Amanda Hart says she's absolutely not dry november -ing. Dry january What the heck month is it? My lord. And I have a really cool announcement. Let's see how this goes. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at that. Just under the orange. Exactly how I wanted it. Ta-da! The emergency vitamin C. So, you know what? You can still drink. Let's try it out. I'm so excited. Mm. Oh my god. It's, it's like tang. It tastes just like tang. This is so freaking good. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The emergency vitamin C. So, okay. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Love it. Love it to death. All right. So, let me show you a picture of something that we're announcing. So, get ready. This is cool, guys. All right. The Gin Mill Channel presents our Masquerade Ball on Saturday, February 18th, here in Port St. Lucie, Florida. So I'm going to tell you all about it. Ha! Ah, here we go. I got my mask. I'm ready to go. Ah! So, guys, we are putting together the coolest event. Nothing fun happens in February besides the Super Bowl, which the Buffalo Bills will be going to. So we are doing a Mardi Gras ball, sponsored by us here at MD's Journal Channel. It's happening in Port St. Lucie, Florida at the Elks Club in Port St. Lucie on Saturday, February 18th, 7 o'clock at night, and tickets are on sale now, eventbrite.com, and then you obviously just put in the MD's Journal Channel, you'll see it all on there. It's $22.50 in advance and $25 at the door and you want to dress to impress. You want to go on Amazon or go somewhere and get a cool ass Mardi Gras outfit. Now you don't have to do that. I mean, I'm sure you can scrape something up in your closet. So Mardi Gras attire, we are going to have prizes and a big, big prize for the best dressed. We also have music, dancing. There will be tasting. Now this is the coolest thing. We're going to have booths all around with free tasting of different liquors, beers, spirits, whatever it may be. You can taste all different stuff. You get free samples. You can probably get a lot of fun garb to go home with. So I can't think of a better way to spend a Saturday night in February than with us for our Mardi Gras and Peace Gym Channel gala. So make sure you put that on your calendar and get shopping or get go to your closet, find something. Get your beads because you might even see some boobies. I don't know. Not mine, but, you know. So that's about it. That's what I got for you guys today. It's really a fun day. Nothing much is going on. It's National Clear Your Desk Day. So for me, this is my desk. So I guess I better clear off my bar, purge a little, get things out the door so we can bring you great new content this year. We're looking forward to so many fun things. Like I said, we're going to the nightclub and bar convention in Vegas this spring. So watch it follow along with that. And then we're going to go check out, uh, what's Teen Wolf's name? What was his name? Michael, not Michael J. Fox, the other guy. Teen Wolf, what was his name, you guys? He was in, you know, his fur grew on his arms. He was Teen Wolf. Teen Wolf. Anyways, Lake of the Ozarks. You know what I'm talking about. The guy in Lake of the Ozarks that was Teen Wolf. 
We're going to Lake of the Ozarks this summer and Hot Springs, Arkansas. We have so many fun things planned. But first and foremost, February 18th, our Mardi Gras Gala. It's open to anybody that wants to come. So go to Eventbrite, check it out, come sample some booze, have some hors d'oeuvres, dance, have fun, and maybe even win our huge grand prize for Best Dressed. But until then, have yourself a beautiful week. Stay healthy, you guys. Vitamin C is the key. Take some zinc, drink lots of fluids, and wash your hands. Everybody, cheers for now. Have a great week. Bye-bye.